Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Wednesday night live sketch brought to you on a Friday night. That is correct, a Friday night. Um, you know, sometimes I turn around and the next thing you know, the week is already over. Uh, I planned on doing a Wednesday night live sketch and it just didn't happen. Um, that's what happens. I don't know. If you're new to the Wednesday night live sketch on a Friday night, uh, generally what happens, we pick a topic every week. We do it for 25 minutes, see how far we can go with it. And that said, I'm going to hop into Photoshop. See if we can start drawing. I already have something down here. Um, I was listening to a stream a friend of mine posted on Facebook about, um, like, it's, I guess NASA has their NASA has their. Um, one of my brother is hitting me up. NASA has their public channels they put out there for education. And like, it's really actually kind of interesting to hear um, that like there's people out there who are planning to go to space. I know it's funny, but like there's people out there who think about going to space and like growing crops in space, like real, for real, you know? And like they're talking about um, just having fire, having fire alarms in space. And I know when we're in school, or at work, we take it for granted. We're like, I don't want to go on the fire alarm. I'm just going to sit here at my desk and pick my nose. But these guys are like in space, and they have to practice fire alarms. And they were talking about mice. So for whatever reason, um, I started drawing this mouse character, and I thought I'd just hang out here for a little bit tonight and do a little bit of uh, sketching. So I hope you guys will hang out with me while I do some cleanup on this guy. Um, uh, I based it a little bit on, uh, you know, there's a little bit of combination that's going on here with this. Uh, I can see some old Little Einsteins. I was a character, a, a character animator on Little Einsteins. Um, so some of the body shape reminds me of Little Einsteins, especially here in the feet and in this curve here of the pose. Um, I can't get rid of this. Why can't I not get rid of this? Um, Sorry, I was looking at my second screen. Um, there's a little bit of Miss Brisby going on here in the head. Um, so I thought that was an interesting combination of, where, of, of things that kind of started popping up as I started drawing this guy. And so I wanted to start just kind of pulling him in a little bit more on the model and just seeing where we can get. I got to get fixed my opacity here. Some of my hotkeys have a tendency of. Um, Like my X-Split hotkeys, my toggle back and forth between my screens. Uh, they have a tendency of kind of breaking. Or not breaking, but just changing the opacity of my brushes. So anyway, yeah, I was listening, I was listening to that um, that feed. And it's just very interesting. You know, we, we get very caught up in our in our lives, and we, you know, but when you think about the big scheme, the, the big picture, and like where the human race is going, and all that stuff, it kind of makes you feel small. It's very inspiring. I'm going to add a little S curve right here, keep his hair kind of rounded. At first, I had his ears a little too pointy, and he was looking like a bat. So I fixed that. And let's keep this area here is looking a little tight because we have the intersection with the hair spike. And compositionally, it gets very busy in that area right there. So let's see. I think I'm going to keep this pencil tonight. I'm using the Kyle Webster animator pencil. And he recently updated it to fix uh, a tiling error. I don't know if it's an error or it was just uh, like, so if I was to, let's, let me save this. If I was to make my brush really big and I started going like this with it, eventually what would happen is you would see like the tile start showing up a year. It's kind of hard to explain unless you've experienced it yourself, but he seems to have fixed it. 
And in doing so, he also seems to, by default, change some of the preferences. So some of it start, the flow is a little different, probably because he tweaked the, um, the texture file itself to be a little on the darker side. So he probably had to pull some of the flow out of the brush by default. I've been experimenting more with it as I, as I use it more. Uh, I, I pull the opacity and I lower the, the flow down as I do my rough stages. And as I start to build the image up, I bump those, I bump those up. But then again, since I updated it maybe like two days ago, I, I think I already tell it the flow is at 29%, it, but it used to be 31%. But that said, this is definitely going down darker than what the old one used to do. So let's see how far we can get tonight with this. <clears throat> And we're going to come up here, a little bit of a sharp point down here into his cheek, the corner of his mouth. Let's pull out some of this stuff. And we've got a little bit of a lip down there. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this construction. Clean up his to clean him up a little bit. I don't know how far I'll get with in terms of cleaning him tonight. I think I want to keep him a little rough. Um, I have a couple things I have in the works. And I'm trying to push more to a, to a clean state. And I'm not really thrilled with how any of them are coming out. So um, just kind of keeping it chill. Looks a little bit... Someone in my YouTube channel says... Looks a little bit like the Great Mouse Detective, Shadow Nose Joe. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit like the Great Mouse Detective. You know, uh, I was saying earlier on in the stream that I pulled a little bit of this from Miss Brisby. And that was certainly made in the early 80s when the Great Mouse Detective was in production. Certainly when Don Bluth had broken out and was um, forming his, his production company. So that was just definitely kind of the 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 uh, design of the day. Stop. Oh, I don't like that eyelid. But yeah, I can definitely see what you're saying. Definitely great mouse detective. And I have to say, I, to my own shame, I did not finish the great mouse detective for whatever reason. I never watched the whole thing. And um, it was on Netflix not too long ago, so I decided to watch it. I couldn't get through it. I don't know why. Maybe I think I was sick at the time. And um, I just never got through it. Um, that's some of the first stuff that Glenn Keane uh, was kind of started to take more of a leading position. He was the lead animator on Radigan. Um, the Great Mouse Detective definitely straddles a, uh, a strange era in Disney animation. In that there's like a there's an old guard going out, and there's a new guard that's coming in. I'm not still not thrilled with these eyelids here. Pull them back a little bit. Keep the eyebrows thicker. But that's a good observation. Thank you. Um, Sometimes you have to just kind of slow down and take stock. There, yeah, something like that maybe. Let's try and start working the pupils here. There we go, something like that maybe. Let's clean this up a little bit. Something like that. Let's clean this up a little more in that area. I work on a gray background 
um, because it's just easier on the eyes. Let's clean some of this up. Something like that. Okay. Let's clean up this line. Push these pupils a bit more. There we go. Something like that. More shape to the brow. A little bit of a shape here in this collar. Get that nice and strong here. Let's fix this. This weighted curve right here at the bottom of the cheek going down into the chin. And there's some overlap here. So this can be straight and this can have a little bit of a kink. And we can have a little bit of a little bit of thickness here where these are thinner. Well, maybe this is thicker, medium, and this is smaller. Something like that. And let's clean this up a little bit. About some of this. Probably gook. Let me clean mine. <clears throat> And something like that. And so the arms are kind of super chunky. So let's see what we can pull out of that. And this this little piece right here is a nice chunk of negative space. So let's keep that going too, shall we? And I want to streamline the glove. So let's clean this mess up. And my intention was to give some sort of um, detailing here, shoulder of some sort. And let's keep the arm and the glove streamlined. There's this detailing, which is the the buckle, it's like a, a buckle of some sort. But I'm simplifying it for the sake of because he's kind of a cartoony guy. So, and then we'll have the hint of a zipper right here. Let's get that helmet in there. Keep it nice and rounded, simple. 
So that reads as a helmet. These are little hose hookups. Or he gets like life support or something. Yeah, it's fun, just like that. And there's a little bit of thickness to these because they're on the three quarter. We'll get those in. Okay. This recede that a little smaller. Give it a little bit of depth to it. Let's try and get that depth. Let's replicate that right down here. Clean this up, make it more legible. Nice clean line right there. the bend here. Clean up some of this garbledy gook. Here is a weird area right here, but I think in terms of uh, tangents, in terms of lines running into each other. And I think I handled it. Keep the feet blocky. And then we have the other foot receding behind the other this foot receding behind that foot. So but we don't want to have a tangent. Build out a little bit right there. Great. And we can kind of just carve some of this, model it some, clean up our line work. I want to splash a little bit of color in this guy, I think. Nothing too severe. So let's try and work this line here a little bit more. I want it to be planted. And by planted, it means it's sitting firmly on the picture plane, on the ground plane. Let's get back to our helmet. And let's build out some of this stuff. And the visor. And we'll have like a little hint of a collar. Okay. Good. So now I have a problem here. Here's a shoulder, the other shoulder is way up here, dislocated. So we have to kind of move this arm down somewhat, maybe around here somewhere. So let's clean this area up. I 
take a drink. And let's keep our streamlined glove and our shoulder line. And then the idea of a thumb. Like he's not really like holding it, you know what I mean? So much as like it's resting under the bulk of his arm, you know? Oops. Okay. Let's see what we can do about some of this line work here. That always helps sell. Always helps sell the image. All right, there he is so far. Let's clean this up. Splash in some color. How about that? Whoops. this up a little bit get rid of some of this extraneous stuff and clean this up over here clean this already Rooney All right, let's plop some color in. Come on now. Dave. Ah, so the question is, what do, I, what do I want to use? I'll stick with my, I'm going to stick with the, where's my, where's my gouache? Here it is. Stick with the Blair 70. Uh, let's get some white. Really kind of mass it in. That's good. I'm going to keep the colors simple. This is kind of the reverse of painting cells, that's for sure. Painting cells, you, you do the smaller areas first. And then the larger areas last because you can just paint right over top of the paint right over top of the small areas once they've dried. Uh, let's do a little bit of an off white for the gloves. So what we'll do too right here is we'll put in a background. The color slate. Uh, where's my select? Uh, let's pick some space, something spacey. Not purple, more along the blue. That could work. Maybe a little less. That's good. Okay, back to business. Let's see, where were we? Let's 
get some gloves. Let's keep this simple. I want to have. I want this to be fun. And I'll go feet or the boots. I mean, the boots, technically speaking, could be the same as, like, say the the rest of him or her, and eh, to him. Yeah, we'll pick like a nice tan. A little bit of color in there, maybe. A little more saturation. That could do. That works. A little bit more. And we'll block in some of this. Whoa, <laughs> whoops. Give a save. Let's try and get this a little more even. Same thing with this. Let's get this a little more even. Maybe you can keep some of the texture in it, but you know, I don't want it to look like I don't want it to look faint. And now the color of his nose, I mean, like, I'm trying to think about it. If I want to go black or just maybe like a red, let's go dark. Now I'll put a highlight in it, I think. Put a highlight in there. Like that. And get his eyes. And let's make his eyes green. Have to fix this. Let's put some white in there. Okay. Come back down to the color layer and let's continue on our merry way. Now the next thing, let's get his helmet. So his helmet will be similar here, maybe a little off, off color, just so it stands out. And I'll probably put a little bit of a shadow on it, a drop shadow. A little bit of blue in that shadow. And then I'm going to get some like a nice yellowy, coppery for the visor. Maybe darker than this. A little more red. And let me layer some yellow on top of this. Uh, maybe pull it back some more too. There we go. Nice mixture of different things are going on in there. And of course, we can get a little bit of a darker. Go 
going very lightly to catch to gather some some texture and then we'll go a nice highlight right across it like so and we can get these guys here these buckles and this will help give us a little bit of color I think for the whole thing That'll do. Sample this. Let's put a little bit of tone in there. Go a little darker, get some more core tones. All right. And we can even start putting a little bit of shadow in here. I might cheat. Let's cheat a little bit. No, I don't know if I want to cheat. I don't want to cheat. Let's grab this blue. There we go. Add a little bit of blue into the glove, help give it some tone. Like so. And now it's, it's burr. Go lightly here. Soft. This area is soft. And a little darker in here. And the same thing softly in here. And add some texture into it. Use the brush. Maybe even go a little darker. Add another layer to it. Softly. Works for me. And one thing I like to do is add a little bit of orange into the suit. Saturated. Saturated orange is like a, um, a detailing of some sort. Maybe like in here. Maybe like in here there's a stripe. Of course we'd add a little bit of darkness in here. And in here. And in there. Maybe a little darker. All right, and then of course, let's fix these. A little bit too dark. Pull that back. That's better. What if I do this? A little darker with the feet. It's kind of interesting. Cool. Let's try that. Good work. Looks decent. Alrighty, I think that's going to about do it, I think, for this sketch tonight. Let's put a little bit more of a tone underneath here. And maybe underneath here, add a little thickness to this. And, of course, here. And here. And here. And 
here and here. I think that is going to do it. Put a little bit of highlights here in his fur. Something soft. In his cheeks. His lip. And just going really gently with the brush just to build up a little bit of a light texture on his cheek. And maybe in some of his hair too, very lightly, just to get some texture in there. To create a little bit of a highlight. And I just thought of something else. We put something like this. Highlighting these little whiskers coming out. It's kind of cool. Works for me. And last but not least, we can just put a little bit of a shadow behind him on the ground. Give a save. Kind of root him. And we'll keep it loose on the edges to create some texture. In here. And there we go. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. Thank you very much for joining, folks. I appreciate you, as always, coming out to hang out with me on these live streams. You can catch me. Uh, I, I normally. Um, <laughs> Uh, you can see a red subscribe button there for my YouTube channel to keep track of me. I'm also, right now, um, um, this is the first time I've ever multicasted on Twitch, so you can follow me on Twitch, I suppose. Um, I also am on uh, Tumblr, Google+, uh, Twitter, and Blogger. You can follow me on all of those social websites. Keep up with me on my near-daily uh, sketches. Um, I do the Wednesday Lunch Live sketch, typically, normally, on Wednesdays, every Wednesday at 12 noon for a half hour. I also have a stream of Toon Boom Harmony tutorials, which I am very, uh, I really enjoy doing as well. So if you're interested in that, please check those out. And also, go to my YouTube channel, and you'll find a bunch of my professional animation uh, demo reel for your amusement. Thanks for hanging out with me, folks, and I'll see you soon. Take care.